power do you have do you feel powerful in your life what is power and why is it important in life how can power impact your ability to influence others what are some potential benefits of having power such as increased confidence or improved decision making skills in what ways can having power provide you with access to more opportunities and resources how can you use your power responsibly and ethically to avoid negative consequences are there any ethical or moral concerns associated with seeking power if so what are they is it wrong to gain power in our life is it wrong to feel powerful in our life if you are interested to know answers to these questions then listen to this podcast till the end hi everybody welcome back to my channel swami vijay and this is swami vijay speaking to all in today's podcast let us discuss what is power what are the advantages of having power and how to feel powerful in our life it can be achieved by anybody in this world so why should we need power why is it important in our life first one if you have power it gives you ability to influence others so when you have power with power you have the ability to influence and shape the opinions and actions of others whether it is in your personal or professional settings so i visualize the person who has power in your office your boss or the student who has power in his hands in your college the person who has power in your country how he or she influenced your ideas shaped your thoughts and affected your life so the people who have power they have the ability to influence others so if you want to influence others you must gain power in your life second important reason why power is important in our life increased opportunities it will increase opportunities for you in your life so if you have power with power often you have access to more opportunities you can access to more resources and you can access to more connections which can help you to achieve your goals and advance in your life and career so if you have power you will get more opportunities you will have more resources and you will have more connections in your life then third reason why we should have power in our life improved decision making if you have power you will have the decision making power in your hands so power often comes with increased responsibility which can improve an individual's decision making skills and ability to handle difficult situations think about a situation where you are just sitting silently not having any power to take a decision because you don't have power so even though you have ideas even though you have skills and talent and ability to take a decision but when you don't have power you are just sitting like a puppet or sitting like a doll without having courage to take a decision because you don't have power so having power improves decision making another reason importance of power is it increases confidence having power can boost your self confidence and self esteem which can have a positive impact on your personal and professional relationships so if you are in a position where you can exercise your power it gives you lot of self confidence and self esteem and that is helpful in your personal and professional growth and in your personal and professional relationships then another reason why power is important in our life is improved ability to make a difference so with power you can have a greater impact on the world and make a difference in the lives of millions of people so even you 
escalate to a position where you can exercise great power you can impact greater number of people but without power you can't do anything in this life so you need to gain power in your life to do good things however it is important to note that power can also be a double edged sword misuse or abuse of power can have negative consequences such as damaged relationships loss of trust and a damaged reputation it's essential to use power responsibly and ethically to avoid these negative consequences why we hate the people who are in power because they don't follow this ethical and moral responsibilities once they achieve the power into their hands so once you become powerful or once you achieve power you need to be responsible to the people and you have to solve their problems okay now you are in a position where you don't exercise a lot of power of course some power is in your hands everybody is powerful in this world we don't feel that power in our life the reasons may be so many but if you want to feel powerful in your life or if you want to achieve power in your life then you need to follow these steps or you need to follow these tips and you need to understand what i am going to speak next if you want to feel powerful in your life you may be a student you may be a ordinary uh what do you call it? A, a person employee in a office you may you may be a woman you may be a man whomever you may be whatever you are in your life you can feel powerful by following these things first one develop self confidence building self confidence through positive self talk setting achievable goals and taking on new challenges can increase feelings of personal power you may not be having the institutional power or the power given by the government or the power given by the institution in which you are working or in a office but you can feel personal power if you develop self confidence with self positive self talk and if you achieve small goals and if you accept new challenges it will make you feel powerful that is called personal power you may be an ordinary person in this world but you can feel powerful with your personal power second thing exercise regularly regular exercise can improve your physical health boost energy levels and promote feeling of strength and power so exercise regularly if you do exercises regularly you will feel powerful okay so exercise regularly then third tip is cultivate positive relationships surrounding oneself with positive and supportive relationships can increase feelings of social power and provide a sense of belonging so after personal power after physical power you need to feel even social power also how do you achieve this social power in your life by creating a positive environment around you surrounded by positive people around you so social power then fourth tip is set boundaries establishing boundaries and saying no remember you have to say no when you are not interested to do that work when you are not happy with that work when you don't want to talk to the people you have to say no establish boundaries and saying no when necessary can increase feelings of personal power and prevent others from taking advantage of one's time and energy you should not have any kind of hesitation you should start telling no to people on their face when you are not happy with things or when you are not happy with those people when they are trying to exploit you you should say no so if you have the ability and courage and confidence to say no that increases your feeling of power then next tip is take control of your life you have to actively make decisions don't leave everything to somebody else to take decisions in your life or don't leave everything to some supernatural power which you think that is decisions will be taken on your behalf and that will be beneficial for you you should have the control to take 
active decision so actively make decisions or making decisions and taking control of one's life can increase feelings of personal power and reduce feelings of helplessness or victimization you may be a woman you may be a man you may be an ordinary employee in your office you may be an ordinary student but you should actively involve yourselves in taking decisions and making decisions and that will help you avoid feelings of helplessness and victimization then next tip is practice gratitude focusing on the positive aspects of your life can increase feelings of personal power and reduce feelings of anxiety or depression so practice gratitude you need to always go with positive self talk you should not always go with negative self talk if you do negative self talk then you will not have that ability and you will never feel powerful in your life then another tip is pursue passions and interests so engaging in activities and hobbies that you enjoy can increase feelings of personal power and promote a sense of purpose and fulfillment so what do you like whatever your hobbies you pursue them you try to improvise the skills or commercialize the skills in which you can use and you can gain money you can earn money you can gain name and fame so don't leave your personal interest and passions pursue them so remember always that there are so many different powers we have personal power social power physical power so with all these things you can feel powerful in your life and always remember feeling powerful should not come at the expense of others or involve using power in unethical or harmful ways it is important to use power responsibly and ethically to maintain positive relationships and promote personal well-being so you should have the feeling of power in your life if you don't get power by default if you are in a very high position or if you are in a very powerful position of obviously will enjoy power but being an ordinary man being an ordinary individual you can feel powerful if you follow these steps and feeling powerful will make a great difference in your personality and people will identify that you are very dynamic in nature and very powerful in your attitude so you need to develop self confidence exercise regularly create your positive relationships set boundaries take control of your life practice gratitude and pursue passions and interests which will make you feel powerful in your life and what are the advantages if you become powerful and if you feel powerful in your life it will give you your ability to influence direct or control the behavior of others or their own life circumstances and consequences of course you may not control consequences but the circumstances you can control this power can be based on various factors such as wealth social status knowledge skills or personal attributes like confidence and charisma having power can allow individuals to achieve their goals increase their social status and have a greater impact on the world so if you have power in your hands if you use it positively if you use it morally and ethically and if you can make a difference in this world then people will appreciate you people will follow you and people will consider you as a good leader so that brings to the end of this podcast so in this podcast we discussed importance of power how to achieve power and how to feel powerful in our life so thanks for listening to this podcast i'll be back every day at 21 hours indian standard time with brand new podcast with a new topic if you like this podcast subscribe to my channel hit the like button so that i'll get to know that you are liking or you like this videos and in case if you want to suggest any topics to me please leave your comments in the comment section below i would try to publish videos on the topics suggested by you so we'll meet again tomorrow at 21 hours indian standard time till that take care bye bye